Hello everyone. So the latest news in Poland border uh, is the uh, fatality of two people hit by the Russian missile. So uh, this is the very latest news and uh, it is allegedly Russian missiles, but still we don't know the details. So I'm having now uh, Mr. Marko Babic from uh, University of Warsaw. So Marko is going to join us now. Hi Marko and please accept my condolences uh, at the beginning of uh, our conversation. Sorry for the incident. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for, so, for having the program. Yeah, thank you for joining me. So what do we know about the situation? Just we know that you have two uh, losses, but uh, I mean, is it a Ukrainian missile or a Russian missile? Uh, the U.S. claimed that it could be Russian missile at the first point, but then Pentagon said that it is not actually confirmed by their side. So what is the latest information in Poland? Well, so far, we still do not have confirmation uh, for 100 uh, percent. There are uh, interpretations, what we know that for sure that we had two fatalities, um, two people got killed. Um, but um, uh, the one interpretation says that they were probably some kind of um, stray missiles that fell on Polish territory. Um, please remember that the place where those missiles hit were only around 800 meters, one kilometer the most. Uh, from the Polish-Ukrainian border. So basically they were on the border. Uh, on the other side of the border, on the U Ukrainian side, um, there's a railway junction. So uh, probably if they were Russian missiles, probably Russians targeted um, this junction and uh, missiles uh, fell on the Polish side of the border. This is uh, one interpretation. There are also some um, experts in Poland that um, think or take into consideration that they might have this might have been also uh, um, uh, a situation where some uh, missiles from Ukrainian air defense uh, failed and and um, uh, uh, so we we cannot exclude both versions of the of the event but nevertheless the situation in Poland is pretty tense I can tell you that. Uh, because if if the uh, the information or if we received that we dealt with uh, Russian missiles, then there is no question that we will be dealing with a very serious international international incident. You know. Yeah, it it has been um, some hours since Poland, the incident. Poland is in some time. Yeah, just my Poland question is: is a uh, we, we know that national security. Yeah, my question is National Security Council of Poland gathered, uh, I mean, it was announced a few hours ago. So do you know any details about the meeting of the council and what are the outcomes for now? Uh, I do not have information. Uh, what is the outcome of these meetings? Uh, but nevertheless, at least nevertheless, do we know, at least do we know, is it over or not? Uh, I mean, is the meeting still continuing? Continuing or? Still Yes, the the meeting is still is still under underway, uh, so we, we still do not know what is the the outcome of this uh, of 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 the of the meeting of the committee for national defense. Um, but never nevertheless, um, uh, uh, in any case, in my opinion, we uh, still do do not have um, a, a reason, even if. We received the confirmation that they were Russian missiles. We still do not have conf uh, uh, the situation or the reason to trigger the Article 5 of uh, NATO um, um, because uh, no one has inv invaded Poland so far or seized territory or performed or ex or, uh, an explicit act of, of, of war. So uh, we, what we need now is just to calm down to see what really happened, to receive confirmation, uh, which who who actually um, uh, um, uh, whose missiles were uh, on the Polish territory, and then then we will see what 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 to do next. 
Nevertheless, you know, please remember that Poland is a frontline state uh, in a very close proximity of a war zone. So uh, um, we will see what, what will happen. I think that tomorrow morning we'll have much more information on this. So can you confirm again the distance of the point to the uh, Ukrainian border? Because some of the uh, sources in Polish media outlets said it's eight kilometers. Some has written that it was uh, six to five kilometers. So you say that it is less than one uh, kilometer to the border. So can right. you just confirm the location of the place where rockets hit actually? Uh, well, according to my knowledge, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, around one kilometers, eight hundred meters, one kilometers, one kilometer next to next to to, to border. Um, so I, I don't know where where did you come up with the six or eight kilometers from the border? Okay, so uh, the the other thing you said the possibility there's a possibility that the missiles can be Ukrainian Ukrainian too. Uh, what if, I mean, yeah, the discussions are going around Article 5, but uh, what uh, what is the possible uh, reaction of um, Polish government for now if it is an accidental hit or, uh, of course, we can presume that it wasn't targeted, actually. What do you think? Well, you know, this situation, either way, will only... Um, the, the trigger the further escalation uh, of the war feelings. Um, uh, it will definitely not serve to calm down the situation. Um, you all know that um, Polish Polish side is very pro-Ukrainian, so um, and it will be that way in the future. No question about that. Um, but um, uh, definitely, uh, in my opinion, if the confirmation arrives that we, we dealt with um, the Russian missiles, then um, the, there will be definitely more escalation uh, of, the, um, of the approach to war activities uh, in Ukraine, meaning uh, further uh, activities on um, um, or further support for Ukrainian Ukrainian army uh, and not only humanitarian efforts, um, um, economic, financial support, etc., etc. So uh, definitely, uh, this uh, this new situation um, is going to escalate the the conflict. No, 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 no question about that. But in my opinion, uh, we in Poland need to calm down the situation and really see what 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 really happened, and then uh, act properly. Yes, uh, Marco. I know that you're also working for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Defense of uh, Poland. So you're doing some researches and you have good contacts with the military experts and generals, maybe. So as far as you are following up to now. Uh, you're, you're tracking the um, announcements and the declarations. What do people, uh, the, the VIPs of Poland, say uh, until now? Well, you know, this is completely new situation. We, we've never had such a situation from, from, uh, um, uh, from, the, from the very beginning of the war, from February 24th. So... Uh, um, you know, general feeling is that uh, we need to really, uh, really understand what happened, uh, not to act too um, aggressively, not to act too too fast. Um, we need confirmation. Uh, from uh, Polish uh, uh, intelligence, uh, from NATO intelligence, we need confirmation from different different sides, and then we will see what, of course, also from Ukrainian side, and we'll see what what really happened. Um, we we must act very slowly and very very carefully with this. Okay, another question. I also had uh, some rumors from journals, friends in Europe that. Uh, these missiles can be Ukrainian. Uh, what makes certain experts think this? Well, you know, that is another interpretation of what 
might have happened. Um, you know, there are certain uh, uh, circles uh, also in the West that are very interested in further escalation of the conflict. Uh, so uh, um, uh, maybe this is the reason behind this kind of thinking um, um, that um, Ukrainians probably wanted in this interpretation, of course, probably wanted to um, to uh, um, uh, provoke the Polish side to uh, for further um, or to, to deepen their activities in in uh, in Ukraine in, in in Ukraine, including sending troops there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I th these are just you know speculations. Um, I repeat, please wait and see what what really what the facts are, and then we can further discuss the the issue. Yeah. Okay. So tomorrow in the morning we are going to maybe uh, maybe from midnight already uh, we will have the news from a Polish National Security Council meeting. Uh, we have very little details for now, but uh, thinking thinking of the possibility that it was Russian missiles. What would Poland expect from NATO? Yeah, the last question. Well, further support. There's no question about that. There's no question about that. Um, NATO troops are here. They are here to stay. Uh, Poland feels secure with NATO backup. And um, this is going to, to stay this way. Um, of course, uh, uh, NATO uh, activities in Ukraine will depend on the successes in the front on the front line. Uh, but nevertheless, Poland is uh, strongly and firmly behind uh, Ukraine, and this is the way uh, it is going to be in the future as well. Yeah, one last thing. So near to Ukrainian border, uh, we know that naturally there are uh, Ukrainian uh, armor points, some military bases. Uh, what about the NATO bases? So is there any um, close distance NATO base to Poland-Ukraine uh, border? So is there any... Uh, much more risk, actually, at this point. Of course, uh, there's um, a, a huge Ukrainian city, uh, Lviv or Lviv, um, uh, very close to to uh, Polish border, with um, a big number of uh, various magazines where where uh, NATO NATO um, armament uh, and ammunition is uh, is sent to. So it is no. Um, I'm surprised that uh, Russians attack those uh, those um, uh, magazines with uh, with uh, ammunition. Um, so we will probably, unfortunately, be um, witnessing similar situations uh, in the future if if the war uh, would escalate in Ukraine. There is no question about that. I'm not claiming that uh, new missiles will fall on Polish territory, but it will definitely be uh, very close to Polish Polish border. So there is a great risk on that. So, uh, Professor Marko Babic, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, thank you very much for the information. And again, my condolences for your losses. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. And remember to subscribe. Have a good night.